Alex and JK, uh, they, they contact me. Uh, they are the team, the first tribes, and since the beginning I thought they were real professional. They do BJJ as well, and we talk the same language. And I saw, they told me they did one camp already, I'm gonna be the second one. And I saw how many workshops and how many nice things they added to the event, and I'm really happy to be part of it. Man, it's my first time in Hong Kong. Uh, Hong Kong is a unique place. Is the homeland of martial arts, Bruce Lee. Uh, I always watched this all my life. To be honest, I surprised a lot uh, in the seminar because I didn't expect uh, so many high belts, so many good level of Jiu-Jitsu here. Surprised me in a good way. I'm really happy to be here. Really happy to see how Jiu-Jitsu is growing uh, here. I used to like most gi. All my life I trained most with the gi. But since I got my black belt, I received uh, a lot of uh, invitations to do super fight and ADCC events. I started training a lot of no gi. They are completely different. The techniques are totally different. Nowadays I train a lot for both, 50-50, yeah, I like both. In my opinion, I think that's not really good for the sport. You know, I think there is another way to get to Jiu Jitsu more exciting and more entertainment. Uh, that's very new, I respect, but in my opinion, this type of allowed things is, is not, uh, don't, doesn't bring a good image for the sport. Size white, white belt, I always train really forward. You know, my game is not the type of guy that's gonna do points and stalling the rest of the fight. I always like to push forward. I like so many different weight techniques, you know, and I try to create uh, a lot of attacks from different ways to surprise my opponent. I basically consider me an offensive game. That's why I think uh, a lot of submissions. The way you train is the way you compete. If you tired training and you stop your rest, for sure in the competition you're gonna feel like that as well. My tip is train the way you want to compete. So if you want to be aggressive on competition, be aggressive on training. If you want to uh, have a good cardio on competition, try most you can in, in training. Yeah, definitely ADCC is one of my main goals this year. It's only September, it's a little bit far away, but for sure I already train a lot of no gi for ADCC. But I still have a lot of uh, events before, so I'm not thinking, I'm thinking my next competition, but yeah, for sure ADCC is one of the biggest goals this year. Yeah, for sure, like everyone asks me this, why Pregisa, what Pregisa means? Pregisa means like a slot. So when I start training Jiu-Jitsu, I will be a completely different person. I will be a little bit fat, a little bit lazy, actually. When I started Jiu-Jitsu, I didn't like much. A few months after, I got in love with the sport and started training every day, all day. So, but the nickname, keep it. <laughs> I think when you don't like a nickname, that's when, at least in Brazil, when you don't like the nickname, that's when the guys keep it calling. So I didn't like the beginning and here I am, producer. <laughs>